Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. A very nice peppermint tea. Sorry, a pure peppermint infusion according to the box. I'm really not too sure what makes it pure, but it is still quite a nice beverage indeed. So welcome back to the game. And in a previous couple of episodes, we were finishing off the facility. We were trying to escape from it. Most of those attempts being not only unsuccessful, but also deadly. And then finally, we did some testing, which was forcing the prisoners to fight, to riot, to try and escape. And also giving them various tools and weapons and basically have free reign on what their actions are at the end result really sort of uneventful i mean it's good from a design and building perspective and it means that it's sort of managed however not great probably from an entertainment factor which is what these videos are about but anyway we've learned that basically with this setup with the staffing that we have and mainly the uh, capacity of our prisoners and all of that we have a sort of secure facility yes we could do some micromanagement with the scheduler and force prisoners to be maybe in their cells more and have the guards move it around and such. A lot of micromanagement involved would, I think, basically yield a slight improvement, but not a massive game changer. So what we're going to do? Well, I am going to expand and uh, let's just get on top of that right now by going to expand and then dismantle and then remove some of these trees. Speaking of trees, um, we are still going to have forestry on the right hand side. In fact, we're going to get even more forestry now. I know a couple of people have suggested we transition over to more of a uh, money making uh, via having inmates rather than just trees. But, well, that would mean going over here and removing all of this and sort of outside the scope of the build. Whereas expanding to the north and the south is what we sort of planned on doing if it didn't burn down. And, well, we're on to that stage now. So let's just do some planning and. And, well, actually building. So over to fences. And these are fences, but I think I'm going to do perimeter wall when I know we're going to, like, stop the building and expansion. Um, but like this. And obviously we do need to move uh, these things around. And I guess the main thing is that we need to find... We need to find how many extra cells we can get. Now, I... Just looking at this, just eyeballing it, this is going to be difficult... Because these are, I think they're about 18 to 20 size. What are they? 19. Right in the middle. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Then I'm, I'm going to get, I'm definitely going to fit one in, but two, not so much. It's going to be very close to the wall, I think. Anyway, so it was um, 19, wasn't it? Let's just double check that. So coming down here, it is 19. Yes, indeed. And from here, we're going to go with 19 and it's by 7. And, oh yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Expanding further wouldn't do it because it expands at the same rate. So we'd end up just having the same error replicated again. Speaking of errors replicated, <laughs> there's the, um, the the guy here that's um, perished and is constantly bleeding out. That's Gareth Shopland. I mentioned previously that was stuck in that corner and even buying land just forces them. So they were originally here and now they're over there. Yes, they are literally part of the landscape. Over to uh, some fences once again and I mean we would be able to do that wouldn't we okay now that's mm, I don't really like that but I get it I guess it will work will it work Yes, it will work. Um, I was thinking about contraband. So contraband can be thrown in from this side, but we do have a 12 gap, so that is fine for stopping thrown in that way. But from the north, you think, hang on, it's it's too close. Well, it is. Apart from this, is indoors. In fact, the first nine segments are indoors. Like that. Which means from this point, it's actually got a 15 until it reaches the first bit where contraband can be grabbed. Okay. All right. Well, we can do that. Hmm. All right. Let's just uh, let's just plan this off. Was it nine? Like that. Just gonna double check the internals. So the internal is seven. Seven. And part of that is well, it's like this, isn't it? Like that. Just gonna double check. Five by five, and five by five. Yeah, so that's correct. Yes, we still have the solitary here, and no, I'm not gonna re. I'm not gonna redo these for for that bit there. I think it's just 
we'll keep the design as is. We know that it's we know that it works. We know that it works for the most part, um, and that solid should be in there. We might go ahead and use it again at some point. I mean, it's unlikely, but at least if we keep it in the design, what we'd save in space, we'd just gain in ex less fencing. So I'm not too bothered about that. Anyway, let's go ahead and ah, this is another issue actually. Um, continue expanding. So the lights, these things here, we can still have them in. In fact, what I'll do is. Um, I'll have these the same, but I'll have to have one here, looking down, and another one here. That's all fine, but this isn't fine. If we were to do that, and that, there's an area here that basically doesn't have any guard towers in it. And I don't like that idea, at all. Ah. There, that's gonna that can mm, uh, other generic noises of thinking. Um, what we can do is this is this may afford us an opportunity actually, and I cast my mind back to a happier time. No, um, when we were expanding the other facilities, mainly the the lockdown town, and we had a problem with the distance for where staff could take breaks. What if we were to remove them? So take only two, for the size it is, only two prisoners, uh, fewer, two fewer prisoners, and we have this, and this. And what we're gonna do is we'll still have a sniper tower there. Actually, I'll probably put one there and one there. And this can be a kennel and a staff room. Which means the guys can rest and the doggos can rest. I'm liking that. I'm liking that idea quite a bit. Okay, well, let's just finish off the planning and see how we get on. So this is all going to be cloned, but I'm just going to do this for sort of peace of mind, really. And we'll still have the entrances on the left. We could swap them round, but we're just mirroring what we've already seen previously. And it was nine, I believe, and then that, which gets an internal five, which it is. So yeah, this is going to add how many more? Well, firstly, we've doubled up, and they're not quite tripled. Another one, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen prisoners times two. And that's assuming we don't expand any further. Because if we do expand north, this just becomes its little sort of pocket, doesn't it? All right, no, that's, that's interesting. I'm liking the idea of that. Anyway... Let's get on with the walls, no, the fencing actually, and yes, it's a bit of a shame that there's this gap of one around the edge, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So we're going to put that in there, and we're going to max speed this out. Naturally, that guy will have to be shifted. Bit of planning to remove that, that's fine. Yeah, um, danger level is low and decreasing. Uh, all of these yards are not actually le legit because I've had to remove the weight benches. And because we are oh, we're very low on money at this stage, I'm going to pick up cell block B. And uh, we've, we've just went under that uh, 300,000 generic units of currency, which is going to increase even further because we've also got lots more trees. So I'm just going to go ahead um, to staff here and I'm going to hire some more workers up to, I think, 36. We're going to get another guard, another... Maybe another couple of snipers because I noticed that uh, down here, this is currently not being occupied. Hmm, looks like prisoner Carlos question mark was fighting, but now they're sleeping with handcuffs on. Paul Fletcher is also fighting and now being healed up. There you go. There we go. So, apparently that didn't, that didn't place, 
Let me just... Why did that not place? Ah, because of the tree stump. Let's dump the tree stump. Dump all of these. I think a lot of these you have to do... Ooh. Tory murdered by a prisoner. That's Paul King. And their uniform is different. They're medium, which means they're a guard. Uh, sorry, they're, they're a guard. They're a gang member. Minimum, medium, and maximum are for gang members, which is something that we played around with in the last build episode. Uh, where are we at? Gangs. There you go. Hmm. And apparently they've been shifted over to a different cell. Hmm. How curious. So all of these tree stumps I'm going to dump. Rip them out of the ground. They normally do this, but... Our prisoners look always look tired. Really? Well, maybe they should stop fighting and perhaps have a kip? Have a sleep? <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, mm. I was going to move this over. And actually, I still am. I don't know why I'm questioning that. We're st we still are. This fence uh, can go like that. And these can move over. That can move over. Oh. And we'll have to rewire that. Actually, what we'll have to do is physically connect it. So it's that and that. My 12 cell utility. Like so. And we'll do some wiring. So wiring is in the wiring section. More news at 11. And we have our door control system, which is this bottom one, which connects to that and that. And there we go. Okay. Just over to deployment and to staff only and to that. And, oh, there's no access in here. <laughs> well, it's not too much of an issue because we are going to demolish walls Demolish all of those. And demolish those. And there we go. Alright. So they're now getting removed. Oh, another death here. That is apparently... Oh, the doggo. Stella is exhausted. Chocolate's trying to get over the wall. And Carlos is now unconscious because... Murtor, the armed guard. Right, anyway... So we're ripping out a lot of these uh, walls here. Which means we'll have to redo some of the pathing. Not too much of an issue. I might as well do that now, actually. So flooring. And I was going to say, can you sell flooring? And yes, you can. So we'll sell that flooring. And that flooring. And another guard has been taken out. By the now unconscious Paul Roach. Ah, uh, yes. Day in the life of running a legendary facility. So we'll put that in there. We'll uh, dismantle these. Uh, demolish walls. There we go. And then unpause it. Good. So I should still be able to have this set as staff only. And we'll still have to redo some of these tiles, but not too much of a drama. Let's just see about this one now. So deployment. So that is still staff only. This is good. The rest set correctly. I obviously haven't expanded the power stuff because that's really little concern. So, what do I want to do? Mm, guard towers can go in. I'm going to put the security thing in first. And what did we use for this? It was concrete. So building concrete and... It's going to go in like so. And I think for this, what we'll have is doors. We're doing remote doors again. Are these doors remote doors? They are remote doors. So it's going to go there and there. And then I'm going to have the wiring. Pressure pads and door servos. Someone did suggest that we put in some logic circuits and door timers so we can automatically open doors like here at certain stages like for example when people are just about to have their physical nutrients and open the doors so that the 
yeah, the, the staff can come in. Here's a good idea. I'm probably not going to implement it because I don't know what that would afford us long term because they're all on the door servos and we've got enough door control systems. So Carlos Unknown has sadly taken out Django the Doggo and then, well, the armed guard did not take kindly to that. And they're also no longer with us. Alec Walker's punching eggs and also being taken out by the sniper. Yes, they're now sleeping on a barbed wire electrified fence. Over to here, and I'm going to force these open. Lock open and lock open. And we need to bring some power over here. I also need some sort of way in to this place. So this is going to be... Because it's going to be guards. I guess I could just use... I would just use staff doors. It doesn't really matter. Staff doors there, and then probably staff door at the back for where we have the uh, the doggos. And we need power. So wiring for most of this just goes around. Um, whoo, that's dangerous. Sell and connect. And I'm going to bring this around like this and into the back like that. All right. That should be sufficient. Actually, we'll continue on with that wiring further down, and then we'll just T-piece that off. And we'll see what happens. Hey, wake up, your prisoners need sleep. Wow. Five prisoners say they can't fulfill that need. Interesting. I wonder why they can't sleep. It's nothing to do with the yard. And they do have lovely soft pillows. <gasps> These ones don't. That's what it is. Of course. They don't have lovely soft pillows. They're not going to be able to go to sleep without lovely soft pillows. Oh, well, totally my mistake. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that. Anyway. There's Dan Harvey. Who's been kicking off and breaking things. Similar thing for Duncan who sadly has taken out Jamie. There's a... Yeah. There is... A almost 100%, I think it is actually 100% fake tunnel because gang members don't tunnel. Another unconscious Paul. You'd think they'd be able to, you know, fulfil their sleeping needs by going unconscious. They should go to staff and to guards going to get some more guards, a couple more dog handlers, and another two armed guards. Um, the alert is on, and we have an armed guard patrolling. Oh, they put the hands straight up. Okay, they surrendered straight away. How curious. Anyway, um, door servo apparently has not been installed. I do not know as to the cause of that. Uh, looks like Prisoner Slater is really wanting to get on the tower that Simmons is occupying. Yep, still want to do that. Right, fine. Anyway, over to utilities and wiring and connections and it is... Oh, what is it? It's going to be this door, is it? Yes, indeed. So one, two, and then it's three and four. So that is all set correct. So you can come in and you can go around there and the deployment is set and that's going to be staff only and let's set up some rooms. So the kennel is going to go at the back and we'll have it as... Maybe seven by eight. I don't know. We'll make it a bit shorter because, frankly, we don't have many, many doggos on staff. Uh, staff room, however, will be like that. And then the walls will have concrete and concrete. There we go. Over the doors, we're going to go double staff door. And let's go for kennels. So dog crates can go at the back there. And... We can have some balls, and as someone did suggest, why don't we have some lovely chairs in here? And why not? We're going to go with yellow chairs, just across the way from that. In here, this is the staff room, so we're going to go staff room. Hmm. So, sofas, like that. Nice little thing around there. We can have a oval table 
It's a bit too close, though. We're going to have a coffee machine in the corners. It needs a drinks machine. Just the minimum, you have to have a drinks machine. So I think we'll put it on the side. And we don't have weather. What else? Is that all we really need? Because we don't have... I'll put an arcade cabinet in, why not? Because we don't have staff needs on, we just need to place them to rest rather than look after their needs. So yeah. Okay. Well, that's now set, and what do we have in there? We have... We're going to use the same stuff, so we'll have the laminate in here, like so. And what else do we have? We have for the staff room... We have a lovely green carpet, which is fire resistant, we should uh, point out. And there we go. And then, well, let's spend a bit of money on placing in the the flooring here. And this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to do. But I'm just going to do the edges, I think, for now. Although, as always, with this flooring, I may get carried away. So there's that. And it's going to be a similar thing around here. Ah, I'm not too sure what this one's going to be, though. I think we'll just do this. And like that, and like that, and there and there, and up, and down from this one. And concrete tiles, I guess, is going to go up here. And indeed for the sort of middle bit, I guess. And then the edges. So, let's do internal bits. So... That one, that one, that one, that one. Mm. I'm doing these all in the wrong order, I'm very aware. Uh, that one, that piece, that piece there. And just missed that one. Yeah, and that should be set correctly, which it is. And the mayor's calling, which is normally also the warden's calling. Prince is apparently unhappy with how little free time they have in daily schedules. Okay, so we need to, we need to free up something. And it's work free time. If I just change it to free time, that should be fine. Yep, there we go. Okay, back over here then. Back over to the flooring, all flooring all the time channel. And I've clicked on that three times now, and it still didn't register. Um, so it's there and there, followed by them ones, which is done. These are set correctly. And the rest would be a bit of a nightmare, so I'm probably not going to deal with it yet. <laughs> um, uh, let's... Let's... Yeah, let's... Let's just do these bits. These T sections. <laughs> Like random guards, so we're just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> uh, dearie me. Right, so there's all them set, and obviously we have to do the other ones as well. And oh, that's now all working, I think. Let's go to deployment and to staff only, and just make sure that is now staff only. And I might as well have these doors, you know, actually actuate and work like a proper door should. Hmm. What? That's wrong. That's all kinds of wrong. Cell flooring. And now it's sort of correct. Get rid of that bit of planning because we don't need it. And okay. Well, I think I'm going to, I need to sell those. And remove the planning from those. I think there's a bit of yeah, something going on over here, as per usual. Filter capacity, zero prisoners arriving at eight. But it's 15 of 16. How curious. The mayor's calling. Media moved on to something else. Okay, so yards. And redo the yards. I'm not seeing just how mucky this is. We're going to have to 
redo that, I think. So just extending the yards to cover the weights, benches and such. And like that. Right. Okay. Well, there we are. We have... I mean, it is... It is a compound, isn't it? Really? It's our staff only compound. All right, well, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. Money is exceptional, as always. We've managed to expand, plan, and build this. Which I think, once we have, obviously, more inmates, this is going to be... And more staff, obviously, as part of that. This is going to come into its own, I think. And it sits quite nicely. And it means if we do expand, you know, we can have we can have stuff go around. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. And yes, the supply truck can clip through the road gate when it's set up like that. So we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Next episode, we will basically start cloning. There's, there's not much uh, else I really need to do uh, on that front. So quick build custom cloning. Literally select this and click and click, click, click. Yeah, just get all the expansion. We're probably going to do a couple at a time because otherwise the things get... Yeah, things get a bit problematic. But, yes, so far, we are on our way to to expanding. Uh, there's some rubble here, and I don't know what they can do about it. I don't think we can sell it. And I can't dump it. Uh, I can't sell it. And it's subsidence, but we can't do anything about that because we haven't got... Uh, repair things on because we haven't got that set. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, uh, as I said, leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Next episode, we're going to go for some more prisoners and probably more eventful behaviours. And sniper shots. Hope you have enjoyed it. Comments, as always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.